guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a really exciting one because it's like the first one I've ever done and it's going to be an empties video. I have a little bag of stuff that I have been accumulating for what seems like forever and a day. It honestly takes me so long to finish something. Oh my goodness, I never thought I would be able to film one of these videos. So uh, yeah, so for those of you who are new to like empties videos, it's just pretty much showing you guys things that I have used up and whether or not I like them, like my thoughts on them, because obviously I've gone through it all or most of it. So um, yeah, I love watching these videos because it lets me know like if someone uses something up, like whether they genuinely like it or if it's just because they're like, I didn't want to waste this, you know, and it does like expose me to new products. So I really enjoy watching these videos. Um, I didn't think I would, but I really have been getting into them lately. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and show you guys what I have. So first thing here is a wallflower pack and I finally went through both little scents in there and this is just Caribbean Escape. Um, it's a really nice scent. Um, it's not something like I'm obsessed with but it's just you know a nice scent um, if you like tropical kind of floral scents. Um, so I finally went through all of those. And then the next thing I have here is a Bath & Body Works Pomegranate Citrus. Um, I don't remember what this smelled like because I used it a while ago. Okay, this one smells really good. It totally smells like citrus. It's a really clean scent, which I like. Um, so I finally used that up, and it, I just got it. I only ever buy Bath & Body Works soaps, like when they have their sale. So um, I don't know if you can still get these. I'm pretty sure like they re-promote these during like the sale time and everything like that. But um, yeah, just I like their soap. I have like a million and one of them. I always stock up during the sale, so it's definitely something like their soap is something I would repurchase. Next thing we have here is the La Fresh, or LA Fresh, maybe it's La Fresh, I don't know. La Fresh or LA Fresh Oil Free Face Cleaner, Cleanser, can't read either today. Um, so these are just makeup remover wipes, I got these in my Ipsy bag, I use them up. Um, I do like them, but I wouldn't... I wouldn't say they performed any better or any worse than like any of the other wipes that I've tried. Um, after trying a bunch of wipes, I don't necessarily say that I'm a huge fan of them. Like, I feel like for the amount of makeup that I wear, wipes never really do the job. Like, I always have to wipe off my makeup and then, um, like, wash my face off again. But, I mean, it's good if you... How am I going to say this? It's good if you want something to help take off most of your makeup and then, you know, wash your face because, I mean, a makeup remover wipe alone is really not going to cleanse your face if you wear a lot of makeup like I do, like the whole nine yards. So, um, I do love, um, using makeup remover wipes. So these, however, I didn't like, they haven't stood out to me amongst like any of the other ones I tried, but they are good. So, and they're on, um, hot look all the time or hot look or however you want to pronounce it. Like they were just on the other day and you could get them for cheap, but would I pay full price for them? Probably not, especially if I know I can get them for cheaper, but moving on. Um, this right here is a perfume. I know it's not completely done, but the problem is, is that, um, it's mostly done and I feel like the scent has changed a bit. So, um, it's time to toss it, but I used up most of it. Um, I can never ever go through perfume just because I have so many, like, oh my goodness. But this is a really good scent. It's just called Halloween by J. Del Pozo or something. And I don't know. I just absolutely love this scent. I remember I was at like some bonfire in like... 11th grade and some girl showed up and I was like oh my gosh what are you wearing and she told me and I hunted this bad boy down and made it mine and I absolutely love it it's really a light refreshing scent and it just smells so good um and it's not like overpowering or anything like that whenever I walk into work my manager's like oh I love that smell so um I obviously enjoyed it and I did repurchase I do have like a mini version like a smaller one just because it took me years to uh, go through this one Next thing I have here is, this is a Total Miss, um, I think this is like a free sample or like one of like my jumbo samples when I order something from Sephora and it's the Salon Series by OU Dot or I don't even know how to pronounce that name, but that's the brand. And this is supposed to be a exfoliating hair and scalp treatment. Um, I've used this I think three times and then just gave up on it because the problem is this is great if you have like little to no hair but when you have as much hair as I do I don't feel like the little exfoliating beads ever reach your scalp so I just feel like it's kind of useless and I don't even think I was a big fan of the scent 
I don't even want to open this because I feel like, ew, it's all mildew. That's so gross. But yeah, it doesn't even have that great of a scent. Ugh, so gross. So glad to be throwing that one away. Next is a super favorite of mine, and this is the Revlon Color Stay in the shade 150 Buff. I finally went through one of these. It did take me a while because I did have two um, shades that I went through last year. One when I was like a smidge darker, which is never, and um, then this one. So I did repurchase this. Absolutely love it. A holy grail foundation if you have um, oily skin um, or even acne prone skin because it does not break me out at all, and it definitely... Um, works with my oily skin. It has a nice matte finish. Um, for some people it might be a little too matte, but I do like that look. Um, and yeah, great product. Next thing right here is the Clean and Clear Deep Action Exfoliating Scrub. I really did enjoy this, obviously. I went through the whole entire thing. But um, I just have so many different face washes, exfoliators, things like that, that um, until I run out of those, I wouldn't be repurchasing this right away. But um, I do really like it because I like a scrub that feels like it's scrubbing the skin off my face. Like I like really intense scrubs and that one definitely had really nice exfoliating particles. So definitely a love. Next thing right here is just nothing exciting. It's a deodorant. It's just the Swallow 24 Hour Protection. Um, performs like a deodorant. Did a fine job. It's nothing like to like write home about or anything amazing. Um, but I always switch mine up just because I love experimenting with new ones. So. For right now, I don't think I would be repurchasing it because I have been loving my Dove one a bit more than that. And also, I have another one that I really enjoy. Like, if I'm doing, like, heavy-duty work, like going to the gym, um, which it's, like, Degree. I think it's made by Degree, and it has, like, sea salt in it or something like that. So I have been preferring those over that. Next thing we have here is the Nexus Pro Mend Hair Heat Protection Styling Spray. Um, I think I got this at Publix. It's, like, on clearance or something, so I picked it up. Um really love this. I absolutely love the way it smells. I liked the mister on it because it like missed your hair and it didn't come out in like a stream like some um, protections do. And I don't know if it helped my hair or not. I mean, I can never tell with heat protectants. Um, and honestly, my hair is kind of damaged now just because it's been like forever and a day since I've cut it. Like, look how long my hair is, guys. It's like so... Look at this. It's like so ridiculous. It comes past... My boobs down to like my belly button. It's like so long. I'm actually getting it chopped off and like, oop, I'm knocking my light around. Um, I'm getting it cut though in five days. Um, so I'm excited about that. But um, I guess it worked. It smells really good. If you want your hair to smell extra nice from your heat protectant, I would get it. Um, but I'd imagine it did do the job because I mean, my hair is not like super fried or anything like that. It just needs to be chopped off. So, but you know what, I would say it did do a good job because I mean my hair is definitely not fried, but then again I haven't been using heat styling tools like a straight iron, like a straightener. Um, recently, most of the time I just blow dry my hair a little bit and then just let it dry naturally. And what else do we have in here? Oh, we actually have a lot of stuff. Next thing we have here is the Stila Growing, Glowing Review. Uh, this was like a little sample that I got in an order. Um, it's just a gentle skin renewal scrub. I did enjoy this one for days where um, when I was using like my, my Retin-A and my face was just really raw but I still needed something to exfoliate the skin. Um, I did really enjoy this. Um, so definitely something I would check out. Um, when I am in the market for a new face wash, but I honestly have like so much of everything that um, I don't need this right away. But I do have to say that I do feel like it did brighten my skin. Like usually I don't see that from like products that say, oh, it makes your skin glow. Um, but I definitely do think like this did help. So I did enjoy that. Next one, I'm so sad that I use this up, but I use this up forever ago. I mean, forever ago. But this is my Be A Bombshell Felt Tip um, Eyeliner Pen. It's just... Oh, there's still something left. Well, it was totally dead. Um, but yeah, it's kind of dry. But um, it's just a felt tip like marker where you would just draw on your eyeliner. I do love this stuff. This was like holy girl item of mine, and I haven't... I have... um found other like felt tip liner pens but none that I like quite as much as this because I really feel like that point never kind of feathered like other felt tips do. Here we have the this is the Milani Eye Tech liquid liner. I didn't use this up because it dried up so fast. I don't even think I had it for 
a month and a half before it just like completely dried up on me and I was like super disappointed and it's not even like I left the cap off or anything like that but it just totally dried up. I did like it while I did have it for like the month but um totally dries out really fast so I'm not happy about that. Here we have my Micah Beauty Cosmetics Gel Liner and this one I have to throw away just because um, I accidentally left it open for like a week and it dried up on me. But other than that I really did love this stuff. Um, if you leave it open for a week though it's kind of going to dry up and you'll have to throw it away. But I did really enjoy it while I had it. Next thing we have here is... Um, this isn't really something that you would use up, but this was just something I have to throw away because it's just terrible. And it's the e.l.f. Um, Essentials. This is like their dollar line. It's the lip defining brush. First things first is it broke and I never even used it. And second thing is, is, second thing is, is, is that, um, how is this like a lip like there's dust on it that's how much I like never used it how is this like a lip defining brush it's so flimsy and if you are using like a dark color um you're not gonna get like a precise application like this brush is just awful and I can't even use it for like eyeshadow or anything it's just like maybe I could paint with it like if I was doing like watercolors or something but other than that like it's just not a good brush so that was a miss for me and here we have the Miss Dior uh, this is just Miss Dior little sample and I did love this scent I felt like so luxurious when I put it on um let's see if there's like a little drop left no there's like nothing in here okay I honestly don't even oh there it goes Oh, this smells so good. Um, so yeah, I definitely love this. It's a really light, well I wouldn't say light, I would say it's like a medium scent. Like it's not a light clean scent, but it's not something that's like super heavy. So, but I feel like it's kind of in the middle. Um, so I did really enjoy that. So the next product I have is another one that I didn't quite use up. I mean, I hardly used it, but um, I just had to throw it away because it's just not good. And it's the e.l.f. Complete Coverage Concealer, like, quad thing. And I originally got this because I was like, okay, perfect, no matter what shade I am, like, if I happen to be tan one day, which never happens, um, I could pick from, you know, a variety of, like, different shades. But this just was so dry like the formulation of it was just so dry and not even like dry in like a good way like you like really have to like rub these things and then it just doesn't go on really well I just did not like this at all and it was just kind of like gross feeling and just I just couldn't even deal with it so toss this so that is all of the products that I've used up or just had to throw away I know it's not a total empties video because I did have a couple like full products but they were just things that had to go in the trash um but nonetheless i hope you all enjoyed this video and found it to be interesting definitely let me know if you guys enjoyed it by giving this video a thumbs up and if you guys have finished any products recently that you've enjoyed or maybe didn't enjoy so much definitely let me know in the comments below because i do go through um i do like take note of like what you guys say and i'm always curious to try something new out especially if it's something that you guys have been enjoying so that is everything i wanted to cover in this video i thank you guys so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already it's completely free and i appreciate it so very much and it will just keep you up to date whenever i do post a new video which will be quite regularly since i am back and yeah so thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to talk to you on my next video bye